Welcome back. The race for governor in New Jersey is still a razor thin neck and neck situation. Can you believe this? A lot of people wondering what happened since polls showed the governor with a close but comfortable lead. And joining us right now is Dr. Will DeVega, political expert from William Patterson University. A lot going on here, Dr. Vega. Um, what do you make of this whole thing right now? A lot of people saying it's anti Biden, it's anti Murphy. Uh, what what do you make of where we are? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, I think that many of us are surprised, right? I mean, it's it's one of those things to say that you know the polls were showing one thing, and yet here we have some results that again, it's still not called. Um, but again, it's an indictment that people are voting, in my opinion, against something. People have come out, you know, with again a voter turnout around 37, 38 percent right now. People are coming out and saying, you know what, we are against the mandates, we're against the millionaires' tax, we are against, you know, vaccinations or masks in school. And at the end of the day, that has actually galvanized a base and has given people a reason to come out and vote. And apparently, and when you look at where the distribution in the, in the counties has been, that has not been the case for the Democrats, who perhaps yeah, were looking at some of those polls. You bring that up. Let's go ahead and bring up this yeah, graph please. here. You can see the comparison between the 2020 presidential race and then yesterday's election, and some of those counties clearly flipped to red. Yeah. A again, think about it. And when you look at, especially even within the counties that might have stayed blue, like Bergen, you know, mm -hmm. we're looking at, you know, like such a percentage in differences that were carried. When you think about, you know, who has been affected by some some of the policies, you understand that people came out and said, you know what, this gave me a reason to come to the polls. And again, we're talking about low voter participation, again, in the midterm, 38 percent, right? So who came out and voted? When you think about the overall registrants, overall the amount of people that are out there, it shouldn't be this close. Based on what's left or who's left to be counted, what do you make of that? What do you think this is going to take us? Yeah, so again, my, my opinion is, you know, uh, Governor Murphy will hold the governorship at the end of the day. He will continue to be the governor of the state of New Jersey. Um, it'll be by a thin margin, you know, maybe as high as 2% if, if I'm being what, What's but left are absentee ballots? Absentee ballots, vote by mail, vote by mail ballots, um, and, and some uh, precincts that are still not fully counted. Go what ahead, about the Chris. legislature, though? I mean, we, we may very well have a Democrat in the governor's office, but that legislature did take a hit. Yeah, the, the legislature is such an interesting story in the state of New Jersey, specifically when we look at Senate President uh, Steve Sweeney. He's likely going to lose that race. And, and, and it's interesting because it's to someone who um, has spent $150, according to ELEC, on that race. Uh, someone who is not a, a political person of political background and who's about to, to dethrone, quote unquote, someone who was seeking a seventh term as the state Senate president, the second most powerful person in New Jersey politics. And at the end of the day, someone who was likely seeking the governorship in 2025. Just five seconds here. How much longer do we have to wait for this count to go? Well, most likely we will be looking at a recount because at the end of the day, such a small margin, someone will say here, you know, there were irregularities. I want a recount. So we will have a preliminary result, but it will not be final until after the recount. All right. Dr. Thanks Dave, for setting thank expectations. You so much. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about this all the rest half hour if we wanted to. <laughs> There's so much to unpack. Thank you. We appreciate your expertise. All right.